on today's 3D tutorial, how to properly destroy the like button. I'm sorry you guys, I don't know how to properly smash the like button, it appears. Holy smokes, this house is way stronger than I thought. Apparently we can't destroy the like button without you. So destroy the like button down below, please. No wonder not everybody hits the like button. It's a hard job sometimes. Okay, you guys, I owe you an apology. I got really excited, I hit that like button, and then I did this. I tore a lot of the house apart without you guys, and I'm sorry. So yeah, you missed a little bit of smashing and bashing. We, we made a mess all over the place, but we're gonna continue to make a mess, so there's no point in cleaning this up. We're gonna go after that drywall right now. I wanna show you guys a couple things I have found tearing this house apart. So what's supposed to happen here is you're supposed to have your studs, right? And from your studs, you're supposed to have your drywall. Well, as you can see, this piece of drywall, there's only one piece here, connected to here, and then from there, well, what do you know? There's a, a second layer of drywall. So to make this surface flat, what they had to go ahead and do is shim it with another piece of drywall. And then over here, they had to shim it with two pieces of drywall, as you can see. So the craftsmanship, is not the finest when it comes to drywall. Let's see if I can fit through here. My buddy pulled this part of the roof down with his BMW. No way Jose down there is gonna pull it with his Beamer. Jose, is that BMW gonna be able to do it? Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> I did it, Jose. So now over here, kind of the same situation. We have boards on top of studs to make things level. Now when you do that, you're just, you're bandaging stuff. You're not doing it right. I don't like bandages. We, it's time to rip them off. They're using old school two by eights. As you can see, there's one there, and there's one here, and that's two foot on center. And literally from there to there has to be about 13 feet. And there was no supports in between them. Nowadays, you can run about a two by 10 at about 13 feet. And that's at 16 inches on center. Now, as you guys saw, this this house needs a lot of work. Now, I didn't want to tear everything down and then get to the point where, hey, you know, we put all this money into it, all this time into it, and then we kind of glance over certain things. There's so much of it that would have to be redone. It only makes sense to redo the entire thing. Now, I, I want to dive more into this. Well, actually, no. Leave it in the comment section below if you want me to dive more into the craftsmanship behind this, some things that they did wrong, some things that... I are just weird. Um, I can make a whole video on craftsmanship and, and why we're tearing this house down. If you want to see that, leave it in the comment section below. Another thing I want to address, look at how strong those rafters still are. The fire started over there, okay? So there's the floor to the old living room. If you go over about 10 feet, there used to be a chimney there. We tore that down. Holy shit. Got it. That's where the fire took place. A solid 25 feet away from this area. And as you can see, the furthest point from this house, you still had black and charring and black in the insulation. Now granted, it's just, you know, the, the coloration of it and there's still full strength. But as you work your way that way, it's nuts to see the, the deterioration of the strength of the boards. So this one, you know, that's black, but you can see it still definitely strong. I was just over there, now we're talking about right here, about 12 feet away. You can see how those boards, even with them being as charred as they are, they still had a lot of strength, judging by the end. But that board itself has burnt right through. This house got freaking hot. What better way to fix this than to just keep burning it up? And that's when we get it to this pile right here. So I showed you a couple problems. Now that's not constructive criticism. This is. Well, I guess the constructive criticism would be don't do that and do it better by actually doing it the right way. Um, this is like a yeah but. A good bad or a bad good. It's when you say bad things and then you finish it off with a good thing. It's like a couple's game or something, I don't know. They used ice and water shield, which is crazy because ice and water shield is usually only used up north as far as I'm aware. Like this gives you awesome 
ceiling uh, on your roof. There's, you'll never have a leak in it. And they used really good shingles. They used this Owens Corning stuff. It has this nice strip here. And it's really, really nice stuff. And judging by the age of this, this isn't that old of a roof. Basically, what I can come up with is it's like a dog poop Sunday. Okay, you got your poop, you got, you know, other nasty things, and then you top it off with, with the cherry. This is the cherry being the roof. Too bad even the only good thing to this house still has to come down. And metal studs don't burn they don't support much either structurally but there's still some wood hooked up to them and we have to take that off in order to recycle them Before we tear down this wall, I do want to show you guys something. This used to be the exterior of the original house. And then what they did was they built on, and then that made that back room there we tore down. And then past that, you had the lanai. So you had two additional, like, 20-foot worth of house on the old sided portion. So you can see this was sided, this was sided, and then they drywalled right over that. Which that addition was a bathroom. The bathroom used to sit right here. However, now I think it deserves to, to lay on the floor, on the ground. Next. Did some landscaping for my grandpa. No, we're not shopping for Christmas trees just yet. Gotta unload these things. They're out of his yard, but they're still in my hair. Grandpa, I know you're watching this. I'm gonna send you an invoice. When I was hanging out with Braden Price, he taught me some North Carolina things, so I'm trying to apply them down here in Florida. I don't know if it's working very good. So you guys don't have cheer wine? Cheer wine? Cheer wine. What about Loganberry? We don't sell alcohol. No, 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 it's not alcohol. I, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. I, we have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll have Dr. Pepper then. We got Dr. Pepper. Perfect. We have like the freestyle. We've got uh, like lemonade and cherry, you know, we have different. A we have a limeade. What, what's the cherry drink? Cherry limeade? We have cherry limeade. We got cherry Pisces. Thank you. Thank you very much, you too. She thought it was alcoholic. Brain's getting me in all sorts of trouble. Way to go, buddy. That wasn't even a proper smash. What the heck?